Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project real estate management system and I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. The version for the Python I am using is the Python version 3.7, Django version is 2 and MySQL version is 5.6. For connecting Python and Django with MySQL, I am using the MySQL connector. You can also connect through PyMySQL. You can install MySQL connector or PyMySQL using the pip format. This is a web-based application, so for front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used, like for form validations, integration of the date calendars, creating drop-down menus, and for many more things, I have used the jQuery plugins. So these all technology steps I have used for developing this project real estate management system. This is a bootstrap theme, and it's a mobile responsive. Means if you open this project on a mobile or tab, then ui will not be distorted it will be fit according to the screen size that is the main benefit of bootstrap and the responsive thing so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have developed what the functionalities are available in the inside this project so the project title is real estate management system and this is a major project developed over the python django and mysql right for running this project you can run it through command right so this is the home page of the project you can see this is the home page right and all things are static here there is nothing dynamic here this is a about and this is also static there is nothing dynamic here this is a property right you can see all of the properties here right so you can see this is the four properties we have added if you want to filter out then you can filter out the records from here you can see the records are getting filtered out here right this is all property if you want to see the details just click on the view details and you will be able to see the property but there is a restriction you will not be able to see the product property without login so you must have the user id and password for seeing the details of the property this is a registration if you don't have the user id and password then you can register from here and you can create your own user id and password and you can log in and after that you can see the property this is a login this is the admin and customer there are two rules so both rule will log in from this page and according to the intern according to the user rule the internal functionality will be changed this is a contact us and this is a static contact us page i'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i'm not sending a type of email and sms from this page so this is a real-time google, google map and it will work only and only if you have internet connection on your laptop right now i am going to log in as an admin so the user id is admin and the password is test once you log inside the system you can see these number of options right so let me go through one by one the these options are available here in above part also right home i already explained you this is about already explained you this is a dashboard right you can jump on the page either clicking on this menu or either clicking on here right so i am going from here this is the add new property this is all of the property details and you can enter all of the details and after that after submitting all of the details the detail will be saved into the database this add property type from here you can add the type of the property means villa apartment independent floor builder floor all of the property type you can add from here this is add new status the status means ready to move in under construction resale you can add the status of the property here this is a reports this is the property report. All of the property will be displayed here. If this is a status report. All of the status which you have added will be displayed here. This is a property type report. All of the property type which you have added will be displayed here. You can edit and update the details from any form. This is an inquiry report. Currently, no inquiry is available. That's why it's in blank. But if any customer submits the inquiry, it will be displayed here. This is a customer report. All of the customers which is available in the database will be displayed here. You can see. These are the customers available in the database, right? This is a customer report. This is a my account from where you can update your account details. This is a change password from where you can update your account password and log out. Once you click on the logout, above administration menu will not be displayed because this is a session driven menu and it renders according to the session. So you can see the above administration menu is not displaying. So from here, customer can log in and the user ID is customer and the password is test. Once you log inside the system, then you can see the my inquiry once you click on the my inquiry you will be able to see all of the inquiries which you have made earlier and once you click on the view details you will be able to see the details of your inquiry that what inquiries you have submitted right you can see all of the properties here so once you click on the view details you will be able to see and once you click on the send inquiry 
then it's saying that your inquiry has been submitted right and you can see in the my inquiry section right okay so this uh, is the my inquiry section right okay so once admin login inside the system then me admin once you admin login inside the system then he will be able to see the inquiry report so you can see this is the inquiry report and he will be able to see the details of that inquiry right once you click on the logout then all the session will be destroyed so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project real estate management system and as i told you earlier this is a uh, uh, major project developed in python django and mysql and uh, if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest models thanks for watching the video thank you very much